This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. Okay, now we're going to learn how to blend two or more images together so it seems like they're actually, you know, blending into each other as opposed to just two images next to each other. So, let's have a look here at the two images that we have. We have uh, Blend 1 and Blend 2. And what I want to do here is uh, put this windsurfer on the image here with the water ski. And I uh, make it seem like the water here is blending into the water here. So let's do that. With the Move tool, let's just click and drag the layer onto the second image. And let me just bring this up to full screen here. Let's zoom in. And so we have our image of the windsurfer here. Let's put them around here. And now we want to just blend that in. So what we want to do is um, bring up our layers and make an, a layer mask. And now what we want to do is select our gradient tool. Make sure we're on white on black. So click on the X to have white on black. D if you're not uh, on white on black yet. Just press D. And uh, make sure you're on this first uh, gradient tool here. So now what I want to do is just select from about the arm here to the edge of the image here. Now if you want to do a little bit of an angle, that's okay. Just don't go too overboard here, but just a little bit of an angle is okay. And just get right to the edge of the image here. Okay? So we're blending the two images and we just have to correct this little bit of problem here. Now the reason I did this from here, for example, as opposed to starting from after his head, is so that we could have more of a blend between the two water uh pictures over here. And it's very easy to bring this back. All we have to do is just select our brush, make sure we're on opacity of, uh, actually let's reduce the opacity here to 50%. And the reason we're doing the 50% is so that we can bring back the detail without, uh, if we make any mistakes it won't be so obvious. So we're just, uh, but just try to maintain your brush and make a brush um, small when you get to edges here. And just try to stay within the image and bring back that detail. So there we are, we have successfully blended the two images together. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.